Hello to everyone out there. So this is my first actual video. I'm going to try to do a short review. We have the new Ninja, which if I can get it to flip. And of course, my phone doesn't want to work right now. So we have the Ninja Foodie Grill. Right now, I already have it preheated. You just turn it on. I have it on grill to the max. We're just gonna make some simple stuff this morning. Um, gonna make some bacon and some eggs. And pretty much it takes literally about four minutes to get it done. So, what we do is, I also have, we bought extra the piece, the griddle that comes in here. So, what we're going to do, is we are going to take the bacon and it does not have to be perfect in here either just so you know but this whole thing is only going to take about four minutes total so we have that added now we are going to shut the lid but we are going to bring this down to four minutes so while your bacon is cooking we also have the extra piece for the eggs that we bought so I cracked two eggs in here just kind of cracked it a little bit so that they don't I always worry that they'll explode if you leave them completely whole but so I poked them a little bit I did spray this with some avocado oil and salt and pepper on this as well so and right now I have just finished I made my toast I don't like mine very dark so it is almost completely non toasted but so what I do is I wait until about halfway through Right now it's at 317. So once this gets through a little bit more closer to the two minute mark, we will add the eggs in there. And then within two minutes, everything should be done and ready to plate. This thing is awesome. We have used it for cooking breakfast multiple times now. We have used it for cooking hamburgers. They come out great chicken breasts, chicken strips. Um, it also has an air fryer in it and it has turned out absolutely fantastic um, all of us in my family really really enjoy it the food comes out super tasty non dry um, I just cannot recommend it enough it has been an awesome addition to our household normally we we would go through George Foreman grills about two to three of them a year because we used it that much so right now we're trying to do this one and see if it can take the place of our George Foreman all right so right now we are at 218 when you open up the top it does pause the cooking so I'm flipping these you do not have to flip these but it's one of my OCD things I guess So there is that. Now we are going to take, usually I only do two pieces of bacon, but of course my dogs are like, where are my food today? So they're getting a piece of bacon. So pretty much I'm just setting the eggs into there as well, shutting the gate back down and let it finish cooking. <coughs> Hopefully that did turn to where y'all could actually see it. Um, we also did, um, like I said, we got it and we got the extra accessories. So with our extra accessories, we did get the griddle, which you can use for multiple things. We also got the egg holder pan that you just saw. An awesome thing as well is this is a plug-in temperature gauge. So it plugs into the machine and then this is the meat probe that goes into the meat and you can program it to stop cooking once the meat hits a certain degree. It has been an awesome accessory as well. We also have the skewers. 
which we have not done yet. So it comes with a set of skewers. We're hoping to use these before too much longer. It also came with a veggie tray so that you can cook your vegetables in there as well in their own little tray, which we have not used yet. Um, there is a roasting rack type thing. Whoop, sorry. Rack in there as well that I believe comes with the actual machine itself. And then we also got extra um, more racks to be able to um, dehydrate because it dehydrates as well. I can say it, but we did try to cook a roast type thing in there. Um, it did not turn out that great, so I would not recommend doing roasts really in here unless maybe we can find a better, better access route of being able to do it because it was kind of gross. But um, I can say though, everything else has turned out really good in this one. My husband is super picky and he absolutely has loved everything except for the roast that has come out of this thing. And for some reason, just the potatoes didn't seem to cook very well. Um, and the meat turned out cooked, but the potatoes just was not that great. Keep that in your um, instant pot. So it says that it is done, which you do have to preheat this thing. Just letting you know ahead. But right now, if you like yours like this, you can take it out. It is good to go. I can honestly tell you I want mine to cook just a little bit longer. So we are going to shut it. And we're going to throw it back on. Which, if you shut it quick enough, you can just bump up a few more minutes. But if it cools too much, it will have to heat up again for a moment or so before it, it cooks in again. But it is a preheat item. You definitely want to preheat it before you put any of your food in there. It definitely helps it to cook evenly and quicker. Um, I was definitely one of those that I love the George Foreman because I could just grab frozen out of the freezer, throw it on there, plug it in and go. But with this one, I do have to wait a few minutes. But I have discovered that if I go ahead and plug it in and hit preheat on it or bump it up to whatever degree that I want it to go to, it gives me just those few minutes to get my food prepared and ready to go into the grill itself so but like I said it does have an air crisp a roast a bake a dehydrate and you have the grill levels that you can do between low medium high and max you can also change your temperatures completely here and add or subtract time over here as well this is your temperature um, IQ which is the plug-in piece that plugs in right here and it goes in the machine and it does not melt. The um, bands on it are made to withstand high heat. So we're just gonna peek in here. How is it doing? We are definitely almost there. This one is almost completely done. I'm an oddity. I like my meat just a little bit browner on that one. My husband and my kids would be like, oh, that's enough, pull it out now. But I like it just a little bit more. So, and once we pull it out, we will get it onto the plate and be ready to go. So, this is definitely a very quick process. Um, the only thing that I can say, sorry, trying to open up the cheese as I'm doing this. I should have had it open already. Um, if you have a lot of people, it is definitely a small amount of space. So it's definitely nowhere near um, some of the George Foreman's that we had on the amount of space that you can cook in it. It is definitely smaller. Alrighty, so we are looking done. So what I am going to actually do is I'm going to set this here for a second. Just because I want to be difficult, I'm going to shut this bump it back up for a minute while we take the eggs and usually I can do this we'll see if it'll happen again so eggs in there boom they are out and they are done pan is completely empty and clean so and 
flip that back over and they are perfect they're great to just go straight onto a sandwich you can make your sandwich immediately as soon as everything comes out so we are going to we are going to turn this off usually I put these on paper towels but since I am doing this video pretty much live straight through we are going to skip that step so so pretty much there you go within about five minutes or so you can have everything done I have my toast over here I have my eggs and my bacon and my plate is ready to be eight and it turns out really really good so thank you for everybody who watches this I hope that you enjoy it um, please forgive me for all the oddities this is my first video I hope to be able to start doing a little bit more of these and be better at it I will be learning as I'm going so this will be a journey with us together so um, just let me know if there's anything that you want me to try to cook in this thing and I will do my best to attempt to show and please, if you will, hit like, um, hit subscribe, hit the bell. I will hopefully be having some videos coming out sporadically. I promise I will not over inundate your box with videos. I do promise. So thank you so much. And I hope everyone has a blessed and wonderful day and had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. Bye.